Hola my dazzlers, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how I created this Spanish inspired makeup look. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, it's elegant, it's sexy, it's everything. I just put flowers and I feel so Latino. It just is making me feel so beautiful. So my inspiration was mainly from uh, flamenco dancers and then that song from Sindagi Na Mili Dubara, Senorita. And then also Ashwarya Rai's look from Guzarish with the song was I think Uri. I love that look. I absolutely adore that look. I was thinking since a long time that I should do this look. It's very lusty, it's very sensual, it's very sexy and it's gonna make you stand out no matter where you are. It's very quick and it's very very simple as you can already see. I want you guys to recreate this look and if you do then do not forget to tag me on my Instagram it's Search Dazzles and I'm gonna post it on my stories, I do. Also if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel then do not forget to subscribe and now let's get started. Keeping this beautiful iconic look in mind, today I have brought a few Spanish beauty formulas and I thought that it will be appropriate for today's video. So first I'm gonna prep my skin. So I've got under eye dark circles and I'm gonna be using Pilgrim Squalene Roll On Under Eye Serum. I have been using this for quite some time now and I have fallen in love with it. So I pump the roll on once for the serum and I use the roller to gently massage the under eye area. I let it just absorb for one to two minutes and then I'll start applying my makeup. It's got squalene as the name suggests. It's very hydrating and very refreshing and I love the applicator. It's very soothing and I genuinely feel that it improves the blood circulation. The caffeine in it reduces puffy bags and almost everyone I know has dark circles. This roll-on has got phytoretinol which lightens the dark circles and it smoothens the under eye skin texture and I'm definitely gonna continue using it. Next I'm gonna use the Pilgrim Squalene Glow Moisturizer. I'm going to take sufficient amount of this and I'm going to start applying it all over my face. The texture is like a rich gel creme, so it feels very hydrating. This one too has got super ingredients like squalene, niacinamide, vitamin C. This reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, it firms the skin and it fades dark spots and pigmentation. Now one last step before I start applying my makeup, I'm going to use the Pilgrim Squalene and Coenzyme Q10 Age Defense Face Oil. I'll apply a few drops on my face. I'll apply it all over my face and massage it and it's very lightweight. This has also got squalene and I recently read a lot about this super ingredient called squalene and I'm very impressed how good it is for your skin, for your hair, for your nails. Imagine the beautiful Mediterranean beaches and the famous olive grove landscapes. It's beautiful, right? We've already seen those in Zindagi Na Milegi Dobara, right? That's where squalene is derived from. It hydrates the skin, gives a soft, supple, youthful appearance. It reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It can help reduce redness and helps fade dark spots. Apart from all the amazing qualities of squalene, it's also got coenzyme Q10 which enhances collagen production and fights the signs of aging. Okay, now I've applied it all over my face and while it's getting absorbed, let me tell you a few things about Pilgrim. All Pilgrim products are vegan, cruelty free, sulfate and paraben free. It's PETA certified and plastic positive. It's made in India and it's suitable for all hair and skin types and it's made for men and women both. Do check out the links in the description box below and here's a good news for you my dazzlers you can use my coupon code sush15 and get flat 15% discount on all your purchases my skin prep is done now I'm gonna start with my makeup I am going to use the max strobe cream this is in the shade pink light though because of my skin prep I have got enough glow on my face already but I'm still gonna use it if you want you can skip this step Next, I'm going to use my Forever 52 Glow Stick Foundation. This is in the shade Wheat. So I'm just going to apply it all over my face. And as usual, I forgot to color correct. So now I'm going to take the Sugar um, Color Corrector. This is in the shade Orange. If you have any other color corrector, uh, which is in orange, you can use that. I'm going to pick some up. I'm using the Pack 219 brush. I'm going to apply it under my eyes, like on my under eye area. And then I'm also going to use it on the sides of my forehead, just, just a little bit, not much. Now taking my Kabuki brush, I am going to blend my foundation. I can smell roses and I love the smell of roses. I feel so relaxed 
right now. Okay, my foundation's on and it looks beautiful and skin-like. Now I'm going to use the Forever 52 Complete Coverage Concealer. And I've been using this concealer since a very, very long time. It still has got a lot in it. I am waiting for it to get over because then I'll finally get an excuse to buy a new one. It's not like I cannot buy a new one, but I just keep going back to this one. I just want it to get over. Now I'm gonna use the K-Beauty Loose Powder. This is in the shade Banana. And taking the same pack, 219 brush, I'm just gonna pick some and apply it under my eyes. Just pack it under my eyes. Now I'm gonna apply the Sugar Arch Arrival Brow Definer. I've experimented uh, with a lot of eyebrow pencils, but this is the best one I could find. Like I've also used the Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is this is very similar to that i think if you're looking for um this is what happens when you talk and apply makeup i think if you're looking for um a good eyebrow pencil then you should go for the sugar arch rival brow definer also the lacme brow perfector i think that's called brow perfector um that is also very good done with my brows now to set my eyebrows i'm going to use the benefit brow god i forgot the name again i'll mention all the products in the description box below so don't forget to check it out because right now i don't remember the name of it i think it's called benefit brow definer or something brow i don't know brow enhancer i don't know if you don't have this one you can also use the elf clear brow gel that is also an amazing one now i'm going to use a blush and i'm going to use uh the k beauty matte blush this is in the shade deep plum the shade is just so pretty so i'm just going to apply it and the k beauty um blushes they're very very pigmented so you've got to be really really careful it's just such a beautiful shade now i'm going to contour my face and i'm going to use the k beauty contour and highlight pro palette this is the shape that i'm going to be using and i'm going to take the sigma brush and apply it just contour it real nice in case you're wondering why i'm looking down my monitor is right there sad story guys my monitor just died so i'm using my phone as a monitor and i've just got 10 percent battery in it also going to contour my nose and then I'm gonna contour my jawline. I got a pair of denim from Zara because, another sad story, I was having Momo and then I just spilled the sauce on my pants and my t-shirt. Now there's uh, red spots all over. I just washed it twice, but it's still not going. So guys, if you have any suggestions like how I can remove the, you know, the chili sauce, that they give with the momo now i still have stains so if you guys can recommend how to remove the stains from my denim and my t-shirt it's a pretty expensive t-shirt it's an armani so i need to need to get rid of those stains so please let me know how i'll come back to the highlighter later now let me move on to the eyes i'm gonna use the elf uh, eyeshadow primer I'm just gonna apply some on top of my eyelids and blend it with my fingers this will just give me a neutral palette to work on the eyeshadow palette i'm going to be using is from huda it's the mercury retrograde eyeshadow palette and i'm going to be using this shade it's a dusty rose shade so if you have any other eyeshadow palette which has this shade you can use that and i'm just going to apply it all over my eyes not gonna put too much eyeshadow today it's just gonna be a wash off color on my eyelids the brush I'm using is from Oriflame, it's their blending brush. I don't know if it's still available, but you can use any blending brush that you have. Also apply a little bit on my lower lash line. For the crease, I'm gonna use this shade. I'm gonna use the same brush and just apply this shade in the crease of my eyes. I'm also gonna apply this on my lower lash line. All done! For my eyeliner, now eyeliner you guys follow me you guys know i'm not very good at applying eyeliners but i'm i'm gonna try applying it decently today so i'm gonna use the anastasia beverly hills liquid liner this has got a very fine applicator if you have any other eyeliner with you you can use that so i'm just going to i'm just going to be quiet and apply it because i just want to take a risk and oops just going to I'm still talking why am I still talking I'm 
not going to bring it out or anything. It's just going to end right here because I don't want a cat eye. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, now the challenge is if I can apply the same on the other eye. You guys can literally bet on me right now. All right, okay, I did it. Okay, a little bit of happy dance. This applying it dries real quick, but still I'm gonna give it some time and I'm gonna apply the highlighter right now. I'm gonna use the Mary Luminizer. I take it and apply it at the top of my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow and chin. I'm also gonna pinch my brush and apply it on my brow bone area and I'm also going to apply it in the inner corners of my eyes just so that my eyes look awake. The mascara I'm going to use is from Too Faced. It's the Better Than Sex mascara and I'm just going to apply one single coat because I'm going to apply false lashes and apply it on my bottom lash line as well. Okay, now I'm going to apply false lashes and be right back. I just applied the Rene the Fallback false lashes and I'm going to link it in the description box. Now taking the MAC Kajal, I am going to tight line like my upper lash line so that the lash glue doesn't show otherwise it just looks a little off. So my eyes are done. I'm just going to keep it very very simple. I want to keep the focus on my lips. Now taking the Auric High Defined Lip Liner. This is in the shade Mystic Red. I am going to line my lips. Now I'm confused if I should use the MAC Ruby Woo or the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit. I think I should apply both. Just because I'm applying both the lipsticks, you just don't have to. You can apply either or, or any red lipstick, any of your favorite red lipsticks. So I'm going to apply the MAC Ruby Woo first. This is a beautiful red. Oh my god, look how beautiful the color is. Now I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Catsuit Liquid Lipstick. This is a matte lipstick in the shade Missy and Fierce. Alright guys, that is it. I hope you loved watching this video and I hope you found this helpful. I love it when you guys recreate my looks and tag me on my Instagram. I do post it in my story, so don't forget to tag me if you end up recreating any of my looks. Do try this look, do recreate it and I'm I'm sure you look gorgeous. Alright guys, that's all and I'm gonna see you in my next video. Till then, go forth and dazzle.